Lindsay, thank you. For the second year in a row, because of the pandemic, the Seven Days Initiative in Kansas City has had to be done virtually. But the response has still been strong, and it continues today because today is Others Day. On Others Day, we are challenged to reach out and embrace people in our lives who might come from very different backgrounds and learn more about them and their stories. This year, Dr. Isildine Abulaish is the featured speaker for Others Day. In 2009, tragedy struck. Three of his daughters were killed when an Israeli tank shelled his home in the Gaza Strip. His story is a powerful reminder of just how different people's stories can be. Now, in preparation for Others Day, I spoke to Rajita Belakaturi. She's a local high school student who helped to plan the Others Day event this year. She told me she knows how it feels to be one of the so-called others sometimes. I actually go to a Catholic school, an all-girls school, so gender-wise I fit in, but um, religion-wise or uh, skin color-wise I don't. But I think that that's the beauty of it is that we get to tell our stories at my school. And I, I have felt like an other before when I was younger, but I think that getting to be a part of this event has been healing for me too. Raj, as she likes to be called, and I spoke about how hard it can be to alter people's opinions. But she says her generation is actually much more accepting and has a real chance to make lasting change. Different generations have kind of exposed that there's like no man behind the curtain idea. But my generation is kind of like, let's completely like overthrow this man behind the curtain idea and come up with something new so that the next generations can take the ideas that we've pushed to the forefront of our coverage in media, in television, in the news, and take those ideas and make them mainstream because all those ideas, the majority of them are about kindness, about accepting people for who they are. I told Raj when we spoke that I'm going to end up voting for her for something one day. Really impressive young woman. Raj has worked on Others Day for the last two years and hopes that you will take part tonight. Now, if you would like to register to hear Dr. Abulash speak and the interfaith panel that will follow his address, you can go to our website, KSHB.com. The virtual event is free tonight from 630 to 730. We've got a link there if you'd like to go and register.